Calabunga Corner. In this episode, I am reviewing Giant Michelangelo. Yes, Giant Michelangelo. And we are going right through these reviews, so I want to break right into him. I'm excited. Uh, like the other boxes, you got Mikey down here, and you got the other three turtles up there, uh, separating him from the others. You got the toys on the bottom of the box showing what's out. And even they do not show trench coat wrath. But there's the, of course, the new turtle assault van. And the uh, role play stuff. Which is still to come here on Cowabunga Corner. We are going to first tackle this giant guy. Giant, giant, giant Michelangelo. To tackle him, he's got strings all over him. But the best way to get those strings out of the picture is reaching in underneath the plastic and just slicing where they are. Then you can pull them off, and that's pretty pretty easy to do. The ones on the feet are not so easy. That side, and then pull him out. Grab his weapons. And this time, he doesn't have his tricorder staff. He has two nunchucks of different colors. Here's the, the paper. These are the giants. The deluxe masks I have not found in stores yet. Uh, so far, they only list three on here. The impressive thing about these nunchucks is that they are different colors. Uh, I, I think that is really cool because Playmates doesn't normally color the weapons of the toys. And it matches the back of the box, actually. So he's got his awesome spinning chucks. That's something I liked about the original Giant Michelangelo, too. I always liked that his chucks were strings. He's got joints in his wrist. Uh, he's got his shoulder joints. And he's got knee joints and hip joints. His plastron is not colored down there, but the back of his shell is. They did not even finish sculpting the necklaces around the back of his neck on the Giant toy. Unlike the small toy where you could see the beads that go for the necklace holding it on, back here is just kind of blank. That's that's different. That's like the only lacking detail on this Mikey though. I mean, I really like the smile on him. He's, he's actually smiling. Uh, I like that you barely see the nose. That helps a lot. And uh, he, he's pretty cool looking. I um, wish that they had normal belts and stuff instead of hoodies, but... That's a, that's a choice they're going with in this movie, and I've mentioned before, I hope that he actually has to wear it or something at some point, and that's why he's carrying a hoodie around. Give us a reason for the hoodie, yes. And I do hope that we hear, out of this turtle at some point, a good Calabunga, because yeah, those are, uh, those are important, and I know the new cartoon has Booyakasha, but we're seeing a lot of nods to the old cartoon with Channel 6. April being a news reporter. So let's have a little bit more nostalgia and uh, bring in the old awesome word that we use in our own title here. Um, <laughs> I like him. He's pretty cool. He's big. Uh, he Next to the small one. Uh, I like the fact that this one actually looks happy. He has personality to his face. He's got pupils. Small one just kind of looks like a blank eyes. Uh, it's missing a expression. Uh, he's got this Mm, frowny face and uh, for me the the bigger one actually works more I like him I think he's one of my favorites because I got a Mikey I like I actually do uh, he's got more of the scale on the top of the head which to me makes him just look older uh, it's not really playing off the way that I think that they're hoping it will it's just taking their teenage days away so there's Mikey. I'm excited. And uh, I love it that he is actually this big, like the old giant turtles. Actually, those were a little bigger. Those were awesome, too. But I like the string chucks. Hang on. Let's play with some stringy chucks. I like the different colors in the chucks. Now, I want to show how the chucks work. See if these guys spin just right. Not really. You know, they're... They're meant for somebody smaller than me. <laughs> I 
Oh, you can make a noise. So, they're spinning the chucks. This is something I enjoy doing. Oh, chucks confront each other. The match of the chucks, which one will win? And the winner is, it's a tie. Literally. <laughs> so, there's the chucks. Here's Mikey. And I will most likely leave these chucks in his hand so that they are not split from their awesome, awesome Mikey. And as I said, this is like my favorite Michelangelo on the toy line so far. Love it. I think he is, he's got the, the personality down that I really enjoy. Now, if you're going to go see the Turtle movie on opening weekend, try and help join into any of our Team T gatherings on TeamTL.com. And uh, I'll be at the Hollywood one, but we're going to hit them all over if this works out right. So help him make it work out. And uh, Mikey will spin his chucks for you. Not the best. But <laughs> I am so happy with him. He is really a fun toy. And... I am thrilled to have my Mikey. Mama Mikey, Mama Mama Mikey, Mama Mama Mike. Yes. Ha! And, uh, there you have it. We have three different Mikeys. The small one got gypped on his weapon, though. And our next review will be the Giant Donatello review. And then we will have another one and another one five days a week up to the movie now. You can get your Ninja Turtle movie reviews here on Cowabunga Corner. Cow